So welcome back everyone, Mike here. We are about to get some serious work done. I'll show you what we got today. This is the Kubota KX80-4 Super Series 2. This is the largest, most powerful excavator that Kubota makes. Base weight on this machine is around 18,300 pounds, uh, but this one is configured with the uh, angled dozer blade on it. Also has the hydraulic thumb. I'm guessing, this is just me talking, this machine probably weighs about 19,000 pounds as is. This is a rental machine from Highway Equipment Company. Highway Equipment's been around forever. Uh, they're a local company, great company, and they uh, recently became a Kubota dealer for the construction line. This is a uh, brand new machine, and don't get me wrong, I like running a new machine. However, as far as rentals go, I like getting ones with a few hours on them. Just, uh, you know, you don't want to be that guy that puts the first scratch on them. But anyway, I'll have this for a couple weeks, maybe even a month. I have a lot of work lined up for this excavator. Uh, first and foremost, we need to get our building site ready here for our new garage. If you're new to our channel, we're going to build a 40 by 72 building here. Nice garage and then like a game room at one end. We'll do all like uh, rough cut wood, rustic looking in, inside the game room. It should be real nice. But before we get to that point, we have a lot of work to do. I need to uh, dig some of these stumps out, drop a few more trees. I'll need to uh, strip the topsoil off of here. And we'll need to dig some fill from down below. I've got a good area with a lot of shale in it. We'll bring that in, make a fill in here, get everything compacted, and it'll be ready for the building. Then after that, I need to get my pond fixed. I want to do a regular borrow pit down below there for shale whenever I need, you know, fill material. Got some work on the trails. There's just tons of stuff to do around here, and this will really make uh, light work of that. This has a uh, four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Produces 66.6 .6 horsepower, a ditch digging, stump pulling, earth moving, tree felling orange power. I can't wait to run this. This must be the, uh, yeah, that's the diesel particulate filter right there. This does not have DEF, has the uh, DPF filter. It's got uh, two-speed travel, 1.7 miles an hour in low range, 3 miles an hour in high range. And I think I already mentioned uh, this has the uh, hydraulic angle dozer blade on it, which is really, really handy. So right now I'm going to get started digging a few stumps and taking a tree down. But if you guys would like to see like an in-depth uh, look at this thing, you know, inside the cab, all the controls, all the features and functions, let me know in the comments. And at some point over the next week or so, I'll take the time and make a video like that. All right, here's the first stump to come out. This is a little cherry here. It's about 12 inches in diameter. But these cherries, they got quite a root system on them. You'll see when I get it out. Now, something like this right here, I could dig this stump out with the little Kubota BX, but it would take a while. I mean, I'm not sure how long. If you guys have done that before, let me know. I'm guessing an hour Maybe a little over an hour to get that out with a BX. I'm not sure. But if you guys have done that before, let me know in the comments. What we'll do with this excavator, we'll dig this out in real time. You know, no pauses or breaks or don't speed it up or anything. We'll see how long it takes to get this out of the ground and get the dirt shook off it.
tree down here in front of me. What I'm going to do first is kind of feel around where the roots are on both sides. There's one right there. on the far side of the tree and then when I push it over they'll break right off but the reason I leave them kind of helps hold the tree because it does have some lean coming my direction. happening. I already checked this tree. There's no dead limbs on it or anything. Let's give a little push. Actually, it's going to go. It's going to go right now. I don't even have to dig the roots on this side. like a uh, Let's Dig 18 video. He's a good guy. I actually met him once uh, at the Paul Bunyan show, I think two years ago. Chris. Yeah, Chris is name. Good guy. If you want to check his channel out, tell him we said hi.
this tree is going to make a lot of firewood. This piece right here is probably 13 inches in diameter. That one there is about 10. It's very tall. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be saying you should put that on the mill. You know, don't cut it up for firewood. But this piece isn't very straight. And by the time you cut the center out on these hardwoods, uh, you just don't get a lot out of it. And we have a real good market for firewood here. So this will definitely go to firewood. Plus, we've got a lot bigger cherry trees around than this. But yeah, that's a tall one. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I'm sure some people are wondering why I don't just grind the stumps instead of digging that big stump out of the ground. The reason is, you know, like I said, we're putting a building here and I don't want to deal with those roots later where the footings and the posts go. If you're digging lines, they'll always be in the way and I like to get all that stuff out of the ground. And also don't forget, like I mentioned earlier, uh, if you want to see a detailed, you know, review of all the features and functions on that excavator, let me know and sometime in the next week or so I'll put a video like that together and publish it as well. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. You will definitely be seeing more of the uh, Kubota KX80 here in the near future. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.